Uh, hi, my name is Colin Genge. I'm from Retrotech, and today we're going to talk about uh, door fans or blower doors, as some of you might know them by. I might use those terms interchangeably. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the various components that are in a door fan. So all door fans or blower doors consist of some kind of a frame or panel system that fills up a doorway temporarily to seal off the house. They also consist of a variable speed fan and a gauge with a controller that controls a variable speed fan. Now, door fans or blower doors come in different configurations. Uh, we've got a different one over here, which has a hard panel system instead of a cloth panel system. So it does exactly the same job, fills up the doorway, expands to fill the doorway, that type of thing. Has a fan down here and has a gauge mounted in a slightly different place inside this little case here. Variable speed is built in to uh, this gauge. You'll notice that both of these fans have what I call range plates. This fan over here, we have a series of range plates that have been removed. So this would be the open range for maximum flow. We've got a series of rings that go on the fan for different ranges or different flow levels that you might want. Over here we have exactly the same thing. We have this little blanking plate here. Behind this we have a range called ring B. And underneath that we've got another one. It's called ring A. And you can see the holes get progressively bigger and bigger. And if we pull this one off, we've got the open range where you get the maximum amount of flow and this is the open range. This particular fan control is slightly different from one you might be used to. This is a high power control. Typically house testing fans are three quarter horsepower. This one is a two horsepower control and this is a variable frequency drive that runs this two horsepower fan over here. Uh, this would be fairly unusual for testing houses but we thought we'd give you an idea of the kind of range that you might find in test equipment. So we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, tube coloring because the color coding can vary. Uh, here on the Energy Conservatory style fan, we've got a green tube that's going to outdoors. And I guess you can think of green going to the green of the outdoors. So this is the outdoor tube. And the red tube goes to the fan to pick up the flow pressure signal or the fan flow. So green to the outdoors, red to the fan. Here we have uh, a very different situation where we have red going to the outdoors. So red going to the red panel. I guess you can think of it that way. And here we have yellow going to the fan on a yellow connector, which you can't see. And we've also got green going to a green connector. We take a look at the gauge. On the back of the gauge, we've got yellow going to a yellow connector, green to green, and red to red.